Hello, Dr. Jensen. What a pleasure it is to have you with us today. I am always excited for the opportunity to talk to you. And today is a little different because not only do we get to hear about this great transfer factor clinical study, but we also get to hear a little bit more about you and how you became interested in becoming a scientist and a founder of a premier clinical research lab. So please tell me a little bit about your background. Why did you decide to go into this field of science? I just really like to understand as much as possible about the body and about ourselves so we can aim for living healthy and happy lives. So why did you decide to start a clinical research company that studies the effects of natural products on the immune system? Well, it was an opportunity because uh, when we started the company 25 years ago, there was there was a, such a need for really high-end research in the natural product industry. And it was an opportunity for us to take the, the best methods and the best equipment and just really dive into what we're passionate about. And that's what nature is providing us to be healthy. So you're the co-founder of NIST Labs. What is the mission of NIST Labs, which incidentally stands for Natural Immune System? And how is NIST Labs different than other labs in dietary supplement space? The mission and the passion is truth. It, it is the truth in science, and it is to be able to dive into uh, marketing claims on natural products and see if they hold true. The instrumentation that you use at NIST Labs, would you consider that state-of-the-art? Yes, it is. Um, give you a couple of examples. We have laser-based methods to examine cells. Specifically, we use it for the characterization of immune cells fresh out of the blood samples from the clinic rooms. We take straight over to, to the lab and we can use laser-based evaluation combined with high-end monoclonal antibodies to identify not only different kinds of immune cells, but also their state of waking up, the state of activation. We've done a lot of work with flow cytometry. Tell us a little bit about how flow cytometry works, because what I find interesting is that with flow cytometry, you can look at individual cells, individual immune cells. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay. So we take the blood samples and we uh, add very specific reagents so they will bind to different types of immune cells and to different types of markers that show if the immune cell is on an increased state of alert um, and what the immune cell's functionality is. Is it tired? Is it ready? Uh, is it on a very, very high lookout for virally infected cells and cancer cells? Then we take that mixture of blood that has many different kinds of cells in, uh, in the sample and we run it by uh, the lasers in such a way that the, every single cell is seen by the laser at one time. And the laser can analyze every single cell and then it can sum up, for example, a quarter million cells and show us a picture. That is incredible. And so this instrumentation, you can actually look at each individual immune cell and it doesn't have to be the same type, right? It could be different types of immune cells and you can study them each individually. Yes. So, for example, if we, if you were in the study and we took a blood sample from you, um, one hour after you consumed transfer factor, trifactor, and we took your blood into the lab and we ran it through the ran a quarter million cells from your blood sample by the laser, then cell number one might be a killer cell, a natural killer cell. Number two might be a monocyte. And number three might be another kind of killer cell, and number four might be a stem cell, and number five might be a whole different kind of cell. So that instrumentation can look at millions and millions of cells, and they can all be different. They can all be different types of immune cells. That's incredible. Right, and then the display is the analysis. Then we can look at groups of those cells. So we can group all, for example, some of the killer cells, they're called natural killer T cells, and we can group them and we can look with nine different markers at the same time. We can look in one color what kind of cell, we can use 
three colors to identify what kind of cell it is. And then we can look at umpteen more markers in terms of how alert it is. Now let's shift gears and discuss a little bit about transfer factor. I'm actually just learning that you studied transfer factor before for nearly 20 years. Tell us a little bit about what your research has uncovered. Well, um, one of the most important aspects of transfer factor is how, how it is one of the crucial tools we have in nature to protect the newborn and the unborn. The, uh, like for example, the bovine transfer factor from cows uh, is in the very, very first milk that the calf gets after it's born. And what I didn't know when I started working with this is that a calf is born without an immune system. And humans, the babies are born with like half an immune system and still benefit from the mother's milk. Uh, a calf is deemed to die if it does not get that first milking. So there is a built-in system in nature to provide immune protection uh, through the colostrum and for chicken through the egg materials that you also have in transfer factor trifactor. It is a, in the egg, it is a protection of the developing embryo inside the chicken's egg. For the calf, it is a protection of the newborn. It is actually more than protection. It is starting to provide that newborn baby with an immune system. And um, the beautiful thing of this is it is so conserved in nature that it acts on different species. And the bovine, the material from the cow's colostrum milk, can protect humans. And the egg material can also protect humans, or it can protect turkeys, or it can protect pigs, and it can protect horses. That um, across all birds and mammals, those molecules will talk together. And we can, as humans, consume that material and get the benefits from other species. And it is pivotal, it's a pivotal aspect of what nature has provided us. Wow, that's a great summary of the benefits of Transfer Factor, and I think that's why we started the company for life. Um, now let's turn to our clinical study. You performed a study for us, and perhaps the study that you performed is not typical of what you have done in previous studies. And so as you started to develop the clinical study protocol, what was compelling about transfer factor compared to some of the other ingredients that you examine on a day-to-day -day basis? What was really unique about this study? Just the nature of the product. Um, we work a lot with botanicals and we work a lot with medicinal mushrooms and algae and many other types of products. And they all have the, the mechanisms by which they trigger these responses are a little different than your product. Um, the medicinal mushrooms and the algae, we, we have a good feel for um, what they trigger already in the gut mucosa without even being absorbed into the bloodstream. For your product, um, it seems much more likely that there is a, a rapid um, absorption of the transfer factors into the gut mucosal tissue and that's where you have the, an enormous amount of immune cells just sitting ready and waiting for for that call for action. Walk us through how this particular study was conducted. Okay so the study participants were all healthy and we are uh, looking at we have them come in on on three different occasions we have them sit down quietly um, in our clinic rooms uh, one person per room, and we have a very quiet environment to reduce the noise so we can better pick out what is happening. And then we feed a participant either a placebo or the active product. And we then take blood one hour and two hours later, and we take blood the m next morning. And then we look for what is changing in the immune system. So we are looking at very fast changes. And the, the power of this type of study 
is that each participant will consume placebo and at another occasion will consume the product. So we are looking at their changes in relationship to the day where they had placebo. They serve as their own control. And, and that, that is what makes this kind of study so powerful. Yeah, a lot of times we think about these types of studies as really the gold standard, right? It's a double blind, it's a placebo controlled, it's randomized. And so really, whatever result you get is a true result. Is that right? <laughs> yes, if we limit the noise and we have a very controlled environment and we, we are alert and observant to how our participants are doing. But yeah, with, with, the, with the protocols in place, yes, then we get a very clear answer. Wow, that's amazing. So you're doing these studies and you're literally looking at immune cells within a couple of hours. And so can we say with great confidence that transfer factor is clinically proven to act on the immune system within two hours? Yes. That's incredible. Wow, that is really, really incredible. Now, I'd like to get into the weeds a little bit more here because for us, this is really big news. So transfer factors acting on immune cells to improve their communication process. Is that correct? Yes. And it improves immune system surveillance. And if that's not enough, it also increases the alertness of our immune system, right? Yes. So my question is, how is Transfer Factor able to do all those things after only one dose? Because it goes in to meet the immune cells and it engages very rapidly to start a uh, communication signals. In the science terms, we talk about cytokines, we talk about uh, communication molecules that the immune system, the immune cells are sending out. They can circulate throughout the body and we get like a cascade of events. So even if you are just consuming some little portion of, of the product, that will initiate a few cells doing something that will tell other cells to do something that will then cascade and more and more cells are going to get involved, not just in the area of your stomach where the capsule dissolved or uh, got in contact, but throughout the body. Wow, this is incredible that Transfer Factor can do all of that after only one dose. And I believe we discussed previously that this research will be submitted as a manuscript to a scientific journal. Can you just describe the importance of publishing this type of research? Yes, it, it has to do with credibility. Um, papers that get published in scientific journals will have gone through review by other scientists in the field. So when a paper gets published, it will have been through some scrutiny. Um, and that lends, as I said, credibility to what makes it into the, the literature. Wow, that, that is just incredible research. And I just want to say that you are an amazing research and you bring such great value and credibility to Transfer Factor Research. So on behalf of 4Life and all of our affiliates and customers from around the world, thank you for your time and thank you for your insights. Thank you.